Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Let's do a general collective message that you need to hear at this time. Holy Spirit, can you help me channel, please? A message for the divine collective that needs it right now. Thank you. Discernment. Hmm. Some of you are wanting to take somebody back. I hear you're giving them one last chance. Like, I don't think they know you're analyzing them or you're waiting for them to do a certain thing. Could be an apology. It could be admitting feelings, expressing something, uh, keeping an appointment. I'm not sure what it is, but it's something like I'm giving you one last chance and they don't know that you're giving them one last chance. Because I'm hearing 10, like I've given you 10, right? It's the end of a cycle. What comes next is a new cycle. So this person definitely does not know that you're giving them a secret ultimatum. Extremes, yeah, an extreme ultimatum is what I'm getting. I don't think they know that you're about done, that you've had it up to here. Hot moon, I'm hearing, I, I, I'm, I'm hot. I'm hot in anger, I don't need this anymore. It's like it's one last opportunity here. Some of you are already done, but I feel like the person I'm reading for, you're not done yet. It's like you have one last, it's like you just wanna see one last thing on your way out, like, are you going to apologize? Are you going to make an effort? Are you going to leave me on red? It's like, it's one last thing. It's some of you, it doesn't even feel like a risk for you. It's like, you're just gonna tell someone you have feelings and see what they say back before you cut the string and you're just done forever. The lovers in reverse, like, do they love you? Tower, or are they willing to let this go? I think I'm really getting, your mind is already gone, like in it, you're, you're, you're Mind versus heart. Your heart isn't even in it anymore. I feel like your head and your heart both agree now that it's time to walk away. Let's get some cards here, please. Why is extremes here? Why is extremes here? What's extreme? What's extreme right now? Six of Cups, yeah. It could be a friendship. It's somebody that you've given so many opportunities with from the past. I feel like they keep coming back over and over and over. And this is the last time. This is going to be the last hurrah. I don't feel like you're going to do this anymore. Yeah, King of Swords. I feel like you've had it. I mean, the King of Swords knows a lot, but he doesn't always say it. He didn't get to be the king of the air suit with sharing all of his secrets. There's something about... Like, you really respect this person. Could even be a sibling of yours. You really respect them, but... You're thinking they're not respecting your time. Or your energy. Tell me more. What is the King of Swords thinking about the, the person on their mind? Nine of Cups. What are the, what's the King of Swords thinking? Page of Wands. I think you're actually believing that this person's coming through as a page, not a king. The page is the youngest, the most naive. But but here's the thing. I, I this is what I was getting. I don't think they are suspecting that you're doing this because I'm hearing la 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 la. Like I'm hearing this page is like. Oh, hi, it's so great to see you again. They have no idea that you're about to lay down the hammer. They have no idea is what I'm hearing. Like this, is, this person has no clue what the King of Swords is about to do. Unsuspecting. So the King of Swords sees you, you see your person, um, your friend, your sibling, somebody, as unsuspecting. They have no idea you're about to lay it out. <laughs> like, wow. What's the King of Swords about to do? What are you expecting? What are you expecting from this page? The Empress and the Two of Cups. So the Empress could talk about abundance, overabundance of something. But the Two of Cups is equal reciprocity, yet you're expecting this from a page. I think you know deep down you can't get this from a page, honey. Technically speaking... The emperor should be waiting on an emperor, not a king even. But the page, that's a joke. So this is, this is something you've been expecting for a while. You're expecting them to mature and grow up, and you're just not getting that. You're just not getting the equal reciprocity. There it is. You're just not getting it. 
So, I think what I'm getting is that you might be afraid to hurt this person's feelings. They might be a little bit fragile. They might be quite dependent on you. They might have been dependent on you in the past. And if that's the case, you're not wanting to hurt them. But the King of Swords doesn't really care about that so much, guys. I have to be honest. Like, this king is not a king of... I, I don't know. I was going to say something that is kind of offensive. But I feel like the king would normally... The King of Swords would say something offensive. And the Page of Wands would hate that the King of, Page, the king of Swords says something offensive. I think you're afraid to hurt somebody's feelings. That might be why you haven't told them yet about this ultimatum. Some of you, I just heard it's a landlord tenant situation. You might just like let somebody go, like leave your building or, or it's a roommate and you're going to kick them out. It's something like that. But like, they don't even know. Is this King of Swords afraid of something? High Priestess. You might be afraid of some backlash. This person might come at you a little cold, you know, there might be some retaliation here, but mainly when I said the king is great at knowing information but holding back, so is the high priestess. The high priestess can hold everything back. She doesn't need to tell anybody shit. She gets all this intuitive knowing, but she doesn't need to relay it to anybody. So the king of swords, I think, might be afraid of the fact that you're kind of ambushing this person. You're kind of, um, you're springing this on them. So maybe that's a fear that you have. It's like, maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should tell them. Should I give them a, a advance notice? I think you're just afraid that this person's going to act really immature, very petty. Storm off, slam doors, shit like that. So I think you're just going to spring it on them. They might act really immature. So, so I see that you're stuck between, do I keep this a secret and just tell them the day of? <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, a lot of you, I think, are thinking that's a dick move. But then you've got this other option here. Just tell them. Tell them. Tell them today. Tell them right now, after this video. But then there's this uh, feeling of like, I can't though, because they're gonna, they're gonna ruin something. They're gonna break something. They're gonna somehow make it worse for me. Hmm. They might gossip about you. If this is an employee that you have and you want to fire them the day of work or something, like right when they get into work, you're not going to tell them that they're on your shit list because you're afraid they'll steal money or something like that. What's the advice? Yeah, eight of cups. What's the advice? The fool. Hmm. I, I really want to tell you that they would do something stupid, okay? They would retaliate. I think, I think that you're doing a good job in keeping it a secret. Normally, I wouldn't suggest something like that, but I don't know. For whatever reason, in this instance, you should ch just maybe keep it hush-hush. I think you're doing a good job. Um, the Eight of Cups is talking about they're eventually going to walk away. They are going to get the boot. But right on top of the page, you have the fool. I feel like they, do, they would do something foolish. This person would hurt you in some way. That's confirmation. Thank you, spirit. They would hurt you. So yeah, I think you're doing the best right now to keep it kind of hush-hush. There it is, four swords, to keep it quiet. I'm going to leave it there. That's the answer. Keep it quiet. You're doing it out of love. It's not anything that's... Your guides are trying to get you to do this, to keep it hush-hush for a minute, you know? Um... Pray about it, meditate, but I, I honestly feel you're doing the right thing in keeping this a secret. You're gonna give them one last opportunity and I think they're gonna blow it. Not only are they gonna blow it, but you already have plans as to what you're gonna do when they blow it. You guys have already, at this point, you've already set up the perfect um, manifestation for this person to leave your life, okay? You're just waiting for the universe to shoo them out, boot them out. They're going, it's going to happen. You're just waiting for them to leave. So the opportunity is going to happen soon. Spirit's going to give you an amazing opportunity to speak on this and they will just leave. Yeah. All right. I love you guys. If you want a personal, all the information's in the description. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.